Today we are at the Bulgari head office with uh, Antoine Pain, who is the uh, managing director of uh, Bulgari Watches, and we are about to discover the new world record of Otto Finissimo. Antoine, uh, during Watches in Wonder, you are unveiling the seventh world record of Bulgari Otto Finissimo in seven years. It's a very impressive caliber measuring only 2.75 mm. Can you tell us a bit more about it? Yes, of course. Um, it's our perpetual calendar. At some point, we had to come with, a, with an Octo Finissimo perpetual calendar because clearly it's, it's the challenge of displaying uh, so many information on the dial, bringing in uh, more than 180 uh, additional components while maintaining the challenge of displaying this, the thinnest caliber. Um, so we had to address this challenge uh, this was even more so um, a challenge that while we had been starting the development of this uh, caliber, uh, we, uh, we had to face the, the unveiling and the celebration of an extraordinary caliber by one of the most famous maisons on the market. Um, and, and so it's clearly, it was clearly one extra step and uh, one extra challenge to make sure that we were actually, we would be holding the record afterwards. So, um, so it's a development of five years uh, to find five, word, five years and the major part of, of those five years were dedicated to the design of the caliber itself. N namely, finding the space within the structure of our watch, mm -hmm. of our caliber, of our, of our basic finissimo caliber and optimizing the space to minimize the additional uh, layers and the additional, uh, let's say, thickness we would have to add to display uh, all the, the features of the perpetual calendar. So it must be one of the biggest uh, launch of uh, this year's Watches and Wonder edition, which is digital. Uh, last year, Bulgaria had another initiative because last year, last summer, Bulgaria initiated the Geneva Watch Days. And you said at the beginning of the year that you might do it again uh, this summer. How, how does it look like today? Well, it looks, uh, it looks like we all expect something physical. Uh, we've, become, we've all become experts in, uh, in the management of uh, the Zooms and the teams of the world. So we are all members of uh, Zoomland. I like this word now. But, uh, but we all miss the physical moments. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> I, I, I can unveil uh, the, uh, the behind the scene here, but we, we were talking just before this interview about the fact that we were happy to make it physically together. And, and this comment, we hear it all the time from our all stakeholders of the industry. Uh, there's nothing more than touching, feeling, wearing the watches. I mean, it's what you sell at the end. Uh, and, um, and as much as we clearly see the benefits of uh, the digital world, we also see the limits of it. So we have, uh, we have the strong, strong willingness to, um, to come back with another event uh, after the summer. Um, we just uh, working on, on our plans. Uh, we are carefully looking at the situation right now. We are hopeful that uh, the, the improvement of uh, the uh, manufacturing of vaccines and uh, let's say the control of the virus Will, uh, will, uh, will, let's say, accelerate the, the, the return to normal conditions. So we are very hopeful that in September we'll come back with another session of the Geneva Watch Days. Okay, super. Thank you very much, Antoine. You're welcome. And see you latest in September in Geneva. Thank you, boys. I'm touching him.